So normally with most smartphones, we spend time battling with the rear cameras on these devices, but that's not the case in this video. It's all about the front facing camera. And this is a battle trying to find out which of these two devices between the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL has a better front facing camera for taking portrait selfies because both of them can. Now, the iPhone starts off with its camera, with its true depth sensor. What it does have is the ability to go ahead and take uh, portrait selfies, but you can customize the different modes. You've got natural light, uh, you've also got you know, studio light, you've got contour light, stage light, and of course, studio light mono. Now, you can go through all those for that, but we're gonna basically just test out the basic standard portrait selfie. Now on the Pixel XL, Google uses of course its AI machine learning to give you what it considers probably the best selfie photographs. Now we're going to check it out with both devices here. We're going to go through a couple of situations. So I'm going to start off taking the photo here right now of myself, but we'll go through different lighting locations, outdoors, some really low light conditions. Also use some of my hue lighting to kind of spice things up a little bit. And we'll come to our conclusion to see what we find. So anyway, let's go ahead and snap the first photo. Mm. Ooh. Okay. And let's begin. So let's go ahead and snap the first photo. So starting with the first images I took, the iPhone 10 has a much brighter look to it, more light. Uh, Apple tends to wash it a little bit more, and you see what I mean later on. Uh, it's also got a much more natural look as opposed to the Pixel 2 XL on the right, which has a little bit more saturation. Uh, I, I like to call it extra HDR with the portrait mode. Uh, the bokeh, I think, is a little bit better and more in-depth and more focused. You can see the backlights there are more focused on the Pixel 2 XL as opposed to the iPhone where it's a little bit more washed out. Now, when we go to the uh, uh, go outdoors here, we have three images. I took two on the iPhone 10 because the iPhone 10 tends to wash out and add a lot of light in the bokeh area. And you can see there are no clouds, the clouds are missing. So I had to take a second image. Now the Pixel 2 XL is really balanced all around the colors, the lighting, the bokeh effect really hits well here outdoors and it showcases in this image. Um, so I would say the Pixel 2 XL basically wins in those two first two rounds now here moving indoors still daytime daylight the iPhone 10 adds a lot of light now yes the window is on the right hand side uh, but it's still adding so much more light to it as opposed to the pixel 2 XL which you can see balance there you can see the color balance just on me itself as the bokeh stays sharp at the back now in this image here you can see we're facing the window more light again on that bokeh effect on the uh, iphone 10. the pixel 2 xl looks very balanced and you can identify all the images on the wall with the headphone wall at the back now this is another image here where the, the iphone 10 actually does a pretty good job again a more neutral and flat tone tonal look uh the pixel 2 xl has a more a little bit more saturated but also gives a much more sharper and brighter colors. Now moving to, of course, some funky lighting here, we have something a little bit different. Here the iPhone 10 light, the extra light brings in more, but you can see with the Pixel 2 XL, the red light again is quite visible and clear. Although it's a little darker, it still looks more sharpened and less grainy than the iPhone 10. Similarly here, this is a, a bar shot. The iPhone 10 uh, has a much more grainy look. The Pixel 2 XL is trying to bring more light so you can see my face more while the bokeh effect is there. Now moving into some extreme low light conditions, we're here in the bar, I'm sitting with friends, and you can see the difference between both images. The iPhone 10, yes, you can see all three, but the, uh, the bokeh effect is not as sharp uh, because it's trying to focus on the first two individuals, myself and my friend. And then if you look at the Pixel 2 XL, you can see the bokeh effect is really clear and sharp. Uh, you can see the third individual at the back uh, with his thumbs up. He's in the bokeh and... Um, he also, you can see him clearly, but uh, at least the, the focus of the image is quite clear with the Pixel 2 XL. So let's just try and finalize this, of course, with the kernel. This is a similar shot. This is taken at night using just, you know, lighting within the room. And the iPhone 10 floods a lot of light into the scene. Yes, the kernel 
is still pretty clear and sharp you can see him but the bokeh effect and the um and the headphones at the back look washed out with the white as opposed to the pixel 2 xl where it looks much sharper cleaner uh the kernel looks really focused as also as the images at the back and you can see the individual lights which you cannot see with the iphone 10 image so the winner here is the Pixel 2 XL. I think uh, the Pixel 2 XL camera, front-facing camera, does a really good job and also the machine learning adds a lot to it to make it something really solid and uh, sharp in images. So whether you're looking at something like this where I took it uh, with uh, David the Unlocker uh, as as Super Saf uh, doing fun videos, you can see how clearly the images look with the Pixel 2 XL and how much better they are. So in terms of the front facing camera, Pixel 2 XL is the winner. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, if you think I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, otherwise guys, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're looking to pick up any of those two devices or accessories, definitely use our Amazon link down below. Check out our Amazon store, definitely support the, uh, the channel. Um, otherwise guys, thank you very much and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.